My mother had quite a few mental health issues. Essentially, my childhood consisted of taking care of her rather than being a kid. I was upset and angry, but I didn't know why. I grew up in the neighborhood next to Quadra Village Community Center basically since I think I was two years old. So it was kind of always there. My mom would go there and get free food or I was part of the baby groups and I went to the summer camps there growing up. So it was always a thing in my life. Uh, Quadra Village Community Center really is the heart of the neighborhood. We're trying to you know, make change close to home, listening to them about uh, what their needs might be and create programs based on that whenever possible. Everything from, you know, Best Babies, uh, which is a prenatal and uh, support program for new moms and new parents. Um, also, we have uh, early years programs, so uh, programs like Parent Taught Drop-In, Kinder Gym, Child and Family Outreach Worker, Youth Outreach Worker. The Youth Outreach, it was instrumental in helping me kind of move on from this chapter of my life that was really quite dark. So they helped me arrange housing outside of my mother, they helped me arrange getting into school, they helped me go through my first job process. My confidence went up. I realized that my neighborhood was a lot bigger than just my little slice of it. And I just realized how many people really depend on the center. I think that neighborhood houses provide more than just the services that they, that they offer to their community. They also create a space that's a community hub. Um, it's somewhere that community members can come and see each other, can start to recognize faces, can reach across boundaries. The main food program that we have at Oakland's is the Oakland's Pantry. It's a free food market that runs every Saturday and folks can come by for free produce, dairy, eggs, um, canned goods, frozen goods, and, and dry goods. Our food program started last year when we were having community members call into the center and say that they needed food. A lot of the same people do come every week and they have become very, very friendly and happy and always, always very grateful that we are here to help them. And they just like coming here. People should work together to give people the amount of food that they need. I help out um, putting foods away. When I help people at the Oakland Pantry, it makes me feel really, really happy. We are there to see people when they have hit a low and in the short term, just see them through that and give them an opportunity to develop a little bit of resources to get on with their life. Esquimalt Neighborhood House is kind of a last resort for a lot of people. There's a huge unmet need for people to be able to talk about what's going on for them. I would explain it as really essential to the well-being of someone, just to have a space that's outside of theirs to know that they're safe and they're welcome. We have a lot of seniors, a lot of folks with disabilities. It's really important for people to support programs like this right now um, because it, it brings our community together. It allows us to be more stable. Um, it allows us to be able to like look outside of ourselves um, and make decisions that are based on community, um, community need, community cohesion. Poverty is not a choice, it just kind of happens to people. I think people should help other people.